Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how I've been making a new style of tongue box. As you can see it behind me. What I did was I made a buck, sort of a miniature version of what I used to make the trailer body itself. And now I'm going to see if it'll, if the buck will slide out from inside it. <laughs> That came out quite well. I'll move it out of the way and then uh, we can have a look at what the tongue box is going to look like. As you can see, this is a circular, well, I guess semi-circular tongue box. I thought I would try this design rather than a rectangular one. Mostly because I thought it would be easier to make, kind of in hindsight, the big triangular style box with the blunt nose is probably easier to make than this one. But as you can see, we have inside an outside phylon with white styrofoam in the middle. The back I made, actually I'm gonna take this off the tripod. It's not really working that great. See the rear wall is two inches thick. I just layered together two leftover pieces of one inch styrofoam. The reason I did that was so that the hinge can go about the middle here so that I don't have to build the small beam that I used on the last tongue box. Since the hinge can be over a little bit, allowing enough room for the lid to flip up without touching the body of the trailer. We'll notice there's some holes and those are just because I needed to put extra screws in to hold it tight to hold the styrofoam tight because I couldn't get it to pull tight enough with the straps since this isn't a fully circular buck but I'm not too concerned about that I'm probably just going to put a few strips here and there to cover the holes and also strengthen it up a little bit more I have one piece of phylon left to go on here and I have a piece ready to cut out in the garage but overall it seems fairly strong and I think it'll work out quite well the reason I'm making these tongue boxes instead of just buying one is because I look at a lot of tongue boxes 
Most of them are just made out of cheap plastic. Some of them are diamond plate, aluminum, but they're all very expensive. And, you know, from measuring them, I find almost all of them aren't high enough to put a, a big, a 20 pound, I believe it's 20 pound propane tank inside, unless you drill a hole in the floor so you can drop the uh, ring at the bottom down below. This way, this is 20 inches tall, gives you an inch and a half clearance above your uh, propane tank. And again, like the other giant tongue box I made, there is a lot of room inside here. And since it's mostly been made out of leftover material, it really doesn't cost that much to make. I'm even considering maybe making just these tongue boxes to sell. As I think there probably is a market for a decently strong tongue box that's big enough to put everything in. The tongue is mostly wasted space anyway. And I see people putting multiple tongue boxes because the tongue boxes that are manufactured just aren't big enough for them. So they end up with more than one sitting on the tongue. At any rate, I just thought I would show you what I've been up to. You see, I have two of the walls for the trailer half done. I ran out of Phylon, unfortunately, or I would have the uh, basic cabin all finished by now. And I ordered some Phylon to get it shipped instead of going down to uh, White Pigeon to get it myself. And it is supposedly on the way, but I was hoping it would show up today. But it should be here soon. At any rate, because even with the Phylon I ordered, I don't have enough to make the lid yet. But I'll be getting some more shortly. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the people who have subscribed to my channel. Have a good day.